Caution's out, caution's out. Terrible crash. Hey, look right over here. You can see, looks like not Ryan Newman overran that corner just a little bit. You see quite a few cars over there. Come back on the track. Contact between Biffle and Newman. Yes, Biffle came back on the track. Newman was right there. Got into him and hard into that guardrail and the tires. Sends him back out in the middle of the track here. Into McDowell. You see the rear end housing loose from the car and then it goes over the fence. That last impact from McDowell was going to probably knock the wind out of him. It was Biffle coming back on the track that made Newman try to avoid running into him. I'm fine. It was just a bad place, wrong place at the wrong time. But uh, from my standpoint, I was, I mean, Biffle jumped the curb, got the splitter or something up on the curb and got out and got across the grass. And I probably could have gave him a little bit more, but I tried to try to time it so I could shoot past. And he slowed down when he got back on the racetrack. But uh, it's, uh, it's really disappointing. We lost John Melvin here last uh, couple weeks. And he did a lot of innovations uh, for our sport. And it's it's really sad that they haven't adapted any of them here for this racetrack. And, uh, the, the, uh, the barriers, uh, the safer barrier that doesn't exist here, the, the Armco walls, there's no concrete walls. It's just, um, it's a very antiquated racetrack and the safety is not at all up to NASCAR standards. And it's a shame that we have to have accidents like that to, to prove it. So hopefully something will change the next time we come back here with our Caterpillar show. Again. We're glad you're okay, Ryan. Yeah, I just uh, got caught up in the aftermath of that there a little bit. I saw some foam flying and figured it might have been debris. And by the time I checked up and all the cars around me checked up, we were all sliding around trying to get stopped. And, I just hit somebody enough to knock the oil cooler out of it, and at that point, last time I drove it around with the oil cooler knocked out, Wayne Otten was pretty mad at me. So I tried not to do that again, but uh, you know it's unfortunate. It's a lot of good cars got torn up. It's just a bad spot on the racetrack. The spotters can't see it. It's just real blind. But my BK Racing guys were working hard. We uh, we had Dustless Blasters on the car this week, a, a new sponsor for us, and hate to see it end that way for them. I'm good, you know. Uh, thank the good Lord above, because uh, that's a bad wreck. You know, it seems like when I do it, they're usually fairly big. So uh, I'm not really sure what happened. Um, you know, I saw the, the 16 get a little wide and then the 39 come back across the track. And I didn't really have time to, you know, adjust or move. I just tried not to hit Ryan in the door there. And uh, that was pretty much it. I was long for the ride. But, um, you know, we had a, a good Caleb car uh, today. And uh, we were a little bit off on strategy there. And it was going to work out. It was going to cycle out. But, uh, you know, glad to walk away from it. I'm very thankful. feel blessed. And, uh, going to stay positive, encouraging Caleb. So thank you guys.